Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Friends, you might have seen a lot of information out there in social media regarding eggshells as a homemade fertilizer, a very popular homemade fertilizer after banana peel fertilizer. I have already done a video on banana peel fertilizer in which I have talked about its harmful effects and in this video I will be talking about eggshells um, and what are the myths that is that are going around in social media and in the garden community um, which is really really disappointing to see how people are fooling their own uh, you know friends um, who are watching their videos by talking about the wonders of eggshells or banana peels or coffee grounds that they can do in their garden without telling them what is actually the correct way of using these homemade fertilizers. So in this video I will be talking about some of those myths and also I will be um, talking about uh, what is the correct way of using these homemade fertilizers so it can benefit your garden and your plants. So please stay with us till the end of this video. So the first very popular myth is that eggshells, especially the crushed eggshells, they can help uh, deter the slugs and snails, which is completely, completely wrong. There have been many experiments done and many videos people have made in which they have shown that no matter how finely you crush your eggshells, slugs and snails are not affected by them. They can easily cross over the eggshells. What can actually deter the slugs and snails are the salts like baking soda or Epsom salt or um, you know the diatomaceous earth. I have already made a video on diatomaceous earth and its uses. I will leave the link in the description box for your reference. So you can use diatomaceous earth if you really want to deter your, the slugs and snails in your garden but eggshells not at all. It's not going to deter the slugs and snails. So that is a very big myth. Eggshells help to build the cell wall of the plants, le plant leaves and fruits and flowers. But actually, people don't know that the plants need a very, very minimum percentage of calcium from the soil to make the cell wall of the plant of the leaves and fruits and flowers and uh, vegetables. Now, if you provide a lot of calcium to your soil, a lot of calcium to the plant, then it will cause nutrient toxicity, which can also affect the same way uh, in the plant growth. It can affect the production of fruits and vegetables or formation of fruits and vegetables, and it can also affect uh, the flowering. So friends, only provide any nutrient to the plant if you really, really think that the soil is lacking calcium, there is no need to provide nutrient if the soil has got already enough of calcium or all these nutrients because calcium is a micronutrient. It's not the essential nutrient. The essential nutrients are NPK, which is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So if calcium being a micronutrient is not uh, needed a lot for the plant or the soil. The third point is that the plants cannot benefit from the eggshells unless and until those eggshells are completely decomposed uh, by the microorganisms in the soil. Now eggshells, um, I would like to make uh, one thing, thing clear over here that plant roots do not have teeth, they don't have a stomach to digest those eggshells. So these eggshells, unless and until they get completely decomposed, they will not release ions and the roots, they absorb ions from the soil and then they transfer it to the rest of the plant for the growth of the plant and production of flowers, fruits and vegetables. And unless and until there are ions in the soil, no matter how much banana peel you bury in the soil around your plants or eggshells you bury or you bury coffee grounds or onion peels or whatever you throw unless and until it's decomposed it's not going to benefit your plant at all so instead of benefiting your plant you are doing more harm because unfinished um, 
organic matter now eggshells okay i can understand it's made up of 34 percent of calcium now banana peels it's organic matter unless and until this organic matter is decomposed it's a waste um, it's it's just uh, it's like you are making a compost pile around your plant and it's, it's not going to benefit unless and until it breaks down into ions eggshells it actually takes months and years for the eggshells to decompose and if you crush them probably it might take less time maybe two or three months but still it takes two or three months to actually release that calcium into the soil to benefit your plants so throwing the eggshells or banana peel or onion peel or coffee ground or whatever into your garden it's not going to benefit at all unless and until it gets decomposed the fourth point is that eggshells in the garden can attract lots and lots of rodents and birds and many more unwanted pests so if you are throwing eggshells into your garden then you are actually inviting um, all these unwanted pests to have a good party in your vegetable garden or your fruit garden or your flower garden and they will ruin your hard work and uh, you know your whole vegetable patch so i think that throwing eggshells i don't know how much it's going to benefit your garden or how much calcium it's going to provide to your plants but definitely it's going to benefit the rodents and birds and all sorts of unwanted pests in the garden it will definitely provide calcium to birds and rodents so the last point is that any homemade fertilizer whether it's a banana peel or eggshell or coffee ground or tea powder or green tea powder or onion peel or pasta water or wood ash or whatever only one single homemade fertilizer is not going to replace the need for a balanced plant fertilizer a plant needs balanced diet to actually produce healthy fruits and flowers and vegetables only potassium only nitrogen only calcium is not going to do wonders in your garden and i have seen in my previous banana peel fertilizer video that people saying that oh i added green tea and my uh, sorry i added banana tea and my plants are doing wonderful plants do not re rely on only potassium to grow or only calcium to grow it needs a whole lot of nutrients to grow happy and healthy and to give you a whole lot of produce please do not be in that illusion that because of your banana tea or because of your eggshells your plants are doing wonderful no maybe your so the soil of the plants is rich in all sorts of nutrients which is actually helping to give you a lot of produce and not only potassium plants need all of it only calcium calcium is a micronutrient you need to understand that it's a micronutrient and it is used in a very very less amount so if you add a whole heaps of calcium in there it's not don't think that because of the calcium you got a lot of tomatoes or because of the potassium or because of the banana tea you got a whole lot of whatever whatever especially or cannabis i have heard a lot about cannabis out of this uh, potassium whole banana peel thing plant needs all sorts of nutrients and if you are adding too much of one nutrient you are actually causing micronutrient toxicity in the soil and to your plant which is equally harmful for the growth and development of the plant and uh, for the production of fruits and vegetables maybe this season it did wonder because of the nutrients that are already present in the soil but next year what next year again you will have to provide a balanced nutrition into the soil for the plant to grow happy and healthy all right so the last and most important thing is now how to use these homemade fertilizers the best way to use your these homemade fertilizers or best way to use your kitchen scrapes is to throw them in the compost pile let the microorganisms do their job let them break down that banana or that eggshell or that coffee ground into 
the absorbable uh, you know iron thing like into the absorbable material uh, so that it is readily the nutrients are readily uh, you know available for the plants to be used so throw them in the compost pile and then enjoy its benefits in your garden. So friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you really liked it, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more inf informational videos. See you next time with another video and till then stay safe. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.